Hey there peoples, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3, this is episode 8. In the last episode, uh, we got all of our materials ready for Mew the Inventor to make a couple of cameras for us for the library so we can see who the mastermind is, so we can also, I guess, be able to tell the truth a little bit with finding out what's going on with Monokuma, follow him around. And we did a bit, bit of free time and spent it with Rontaro, just, you know, getting all the mystery, the mystery student. Anyway, let's see exactly what Mew will say. Right after I knocked, the door violently swung open. You're fucking late. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you waste precious seconds of my time? Oh, looks like she's back to normal. Well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Give me what you got. Okay, it's just these, but... I took out the three cameras from my backpack and handed them to Mew. Disposable cameras? A disposable cameras? Too difficult to modify for you? Do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Of course I can do it. Piece of cake! Ah, here are the security sensors. Do you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? I was thinking the camera could be triggered by the security sensor. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. That's why I'd like to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered into Shuichi's ear. What are you going to use that for? I'm going to set it up on the moving bookcase. That way we can keep watch from anywhere, as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Hey, what are you two whispering about? Nothing. I've already done the details here. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. And a third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. How soon do you need these? Can you make them by tomorrow morning? Of course I can. You could tie me up and drip hot wax on me, and I'd still finish in time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With that bold declaration, we slammed the door in our faces. Did she just reveal some of her kinks to us? Anyway, <laughs> I think this will do it. We just have to wait for Mew to finish. Um, Katie, what's wrong? No. Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Huh? What? Yeah. Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you would be that reliable. But look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. I think it's time for some free time. But I imagine you can't talk to Mew now? If that is how it's going to go? The time limit expires at night time tomorrow. Today's my last chance to roam around. I need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Okay, bit of free time. Good. I was hoping it would be. So, let's have a little look at... Where Rontaro is again. Um, nowhere but there. Nowhere but there. Nowhere but there. Okay, he's in, the, he's in classroom C. So opposite the piano room in the corner. Okay. I wonder why you had to walk to Mew's place though. Why you can teleport anyway. That's Kade's place by the way. As if, you know, you, you didn't know before. <laughs> we saw it before. Okay, classroom C. I would like to bash a few things in you. Just, you know, get a couple of coins. Because God knows why not. The skills that you get, by the way, aren't that great. It's just something to pad out the game a little bit, I think. I think that's what they were going for. Make it seem like there's a bit more to it. Yeah, probably that. I won't be doing this too often, by the way, so don't worry. It can be tedious. I know. Anything else? I think that's it. Oh yeah, your lab opened up, right? I wonder if I'll ever find my lab. If that happens, I'll know my talent. That's true. I want to try find my lab, even though I know I probably won't find it. If it's not too much trouble, would you help me? Yeah, okay. Let's have a little look round. I spent some time searching around the school with Rontaro. Rontaro and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, we'll give him a Prezi. We could go back now and give him another one of these. You don't want to use the same item two times in a row. I think it makes it less effective in building your relationship up. Um, what should we go for? Right, okay, vegetable oil. Yeah, weird, I know, but... <laughs> Thank you very much. But this looks really valuable. Yep. 
I'll get you something special one day too. I have some pretty rare things myself. There are like some gifts are their favourites, that's why I've been giving him. Some gifts are good, they're still boosted a bit. Some are okay, and then some are just bad and don't boost it, I don't think, at all. Nighttime won't start for a while, so I guess I'll see what everyone else is doing. Yeah, it doesn't always take up your relationship straight away, so. It's a bit of a bugger when it doesn't happen to get in, but. There we go, back to the library. We spend a lot of time in this chapter in the library. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, sir. The time limit's night time tomorrow. I wonder what we should do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to show you something. I think you can look at it right now. Like, I think... I think you can. Or is it not yet? No, it doesn't look like it yet. Okay, never mind then. Never mind, let's keep going. You can examine something around you at some point. Yeah. No point wasting time. Yeah, let's take a break. We're two today. What? No. Spend some time walking in the courtyard. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, we'll give him a present. This time, I guess, we'll go for... Uh, yeah, have some cake. He likes his food. <laughs> yeah. You got something pretty interesting there. <laughs> Where'd we find cake? Wow. <laughs> so sweet. You're being so nice to a guy that doesn't even know his own talent. I know, I know. He likes to bring that up, don't he? Still no boost. Surprised. This is an announcement. <laughs> yep. It's now 10 p.m. Night time. Don't do something violent to start the killing game. You can make it one more night. <laughs> oh, I get it now. I totally get it. It's crystal clear to me now. I understand everything. See? Look at your face. The way your eyes are angled. The way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. One kid seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much honey? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be your last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. We promised we would all be friends once we got out. Yep. And we will. We'll all be fine. I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. I blame the parents. They haven't properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who has done something for you. Exactly. Okay, I agree with him. It will make that person feel happy, and they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favour in the future. Oh, okay. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. Uh, okay, we're going... Uh, no. <laughs> so I say thank you to people. Make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. No. Alright, sir. I'll just... <laughs> Smile and nod. Oh god, he's getting worse. It's an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Wake up, bastards. It's 8 a.m. <laughs> oh, today's the day the time limit expires. My heart's pounding with excitement. Even if you end up in hell, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing game. I just assume they're going to hell. This uh, is in uh, a new 16 other uh, uh, who to leave and come as the uh, humans. <laughs> hey, Monikid, why don't we go over there and drink some more honey, okay? Uh oh. Poor Mono Kid. This is what honey does to you. Time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leapt out of bed. All right. God, her cheeks are bashing, don't they? Should I pinch them? Grab them? <laughs> Alright, first I need to go to Shuichi's room. Alright. No more free time by the seams of it. Not too disappointed by that. I do like the main game more than I do the free time, but. Yeah. No response. Wonder if something's the matter. Um. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. That's a relief. <laughs> ah, Kaede. Good morning. Jeez, finally you came out. You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. Ah, sorry. I was just going to the bathroom. You ready then? We have to go to. We have to get the cameras from you. Okay. Yeah, right. Right, we are gonna teleport if possible. No, no. Just let me go on the menu. Right. No. 
I press this grid to go on the handbook and it's not. Right, okay. No! <laughs> hey, bloody hell. Okay. Uh, uh, come. Typical. Right. Yeah. I do want to leave then. Not giving me much choice. Ah, oh, there we go. Angie. I haven't seen much of her, I suppose. Or many of them. Hey, hey, have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Maybe you want to pray to a tour with me. What? You shouldn't be giving up so easily. Too true. You two get along so well. I was hoping it would rub off on the others in the dining hall. What are you talking about? A tour has spoken. In such dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Fighting? They're fighting in the dining hall. A tour is really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Shuichi, can you go get the stuff from you? I have to see what's happening. Okay, I'll go get the cameras. Let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Yeah. Okay, got it. Angie, you said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Okie dokie, we'll stop it together. Who's fighting who though, and why? I actually quite like Angie this time through so far. So, so far. <laughs> <laughs> Her bright cheeriness is a bit better. What's going on here? Oh, oh Katie, perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Katie. We almost started talking crazy. All I was doing was making a suggestion. So that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. Oh. Come on then, let's see what he wants. So that more people can survive? Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know? The only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing game. Huh? Now hold on a minute. Kill me. Huh? Yuma, what are you saying? You don't get that either? I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. I don't have a reason to live anymore. So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's no way. We promised we'd all get out of here together. Mm. I'd hoped it'd end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? N no, it's not idealism. It's the best choice for this situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well, How about it? If you've got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Um, well... What should I do? Maybe if I share Shuichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Ryoma, there's no need for that. There's no need for that because I'm going to end this game. I've already decided. We can end this game. Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Can we even accomplish such a feat? I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Yeah. And how will you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. What do you mean? Just what I said. And can you end this game? So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, alright? Unnecessary? When you put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Alright, I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want, whether you guys live or die is up to you. After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. Oh, what's he got in mind? Jeez, that Ryoma. I hope I helped calm him down a little. Anyway, Vantaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Okie dokie. Then Angie will pray for your strategy's success, Vantaro. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? That's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, hmm? I guess I have to do my best. Matawa left, but what he said had really affected me. And in this game, is that even possible? I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, and in this game? You don't know that. Maybe Vantawa's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only Atua knows. Mantaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else, I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's a classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okie doke. So, Mantaro's probably got a plan. Oh, it's all going on. Alright, so we might as well walk there, because it's not far. I mean... Yeah, yeah, it's not far. Hello, Gunther. 
Yeah, I'm not talking to everyone every time we come across them. I just want to make a bit of progress, you know. Here we go. By the stairs. Sorry, I'm late, Trichy. Ah, it's alright. I just got here too. How'd it go? Did Mio finish the cameras? She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. And this one will take a picture and trigger the receiver. Of course, they've turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Since they're disposable cameras, you'll have to manually wind the film, right? Yes, no. you thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. So once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor's triggered. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent, to not attract attention. They're completely silent. This is perfect. It needs to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. And do these cameras have flashes? Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. I'll be careful. I'm impressed though. Mew modified them to our specifications. Alright, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. Tell me about the classroom. Yes, I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. That's fine, but why this classroom? Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement, with the door open a little. That's true, it's got the stairs by it, and it's the only way down there. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Yeah, you're right! We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Yep. It's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason? Ah. <laughs> event. Is this event? It's connected to the library in the basement. you recognize the smell immediately. A smell? After Shuichi told me that, I leaned in close to the vent. Oh, it smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Yes. <laughs> it's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. That's a good idea. Remember. Remember the duct we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. Sorry, I thought it was gonna voice act it. <laughs> But a vent in a classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about this school is odd. This vent is the other reason I chose a specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully too. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plan in motion. I imagine only like... The smaller characters could fit through the vent, I I'm assuming. Like, our little mage? Angie, maybe? Ryoma? Hmm. It's finally time to set up plan in motion. Yeah. I'm getting nervous. Ugh, my heart is racing. Ah, down to the basement. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's head on down then. Is it? Let's see if we can find the vent as well. I see it. I think that was it. So where did you want to place the cameras? I say the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. Makes sense. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase, yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then where we put in the other two sensors? The two entrances to the library. Front entrance near the stairs, rear entrance to the hallway. I say one at each entrance. That way, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. How, how about that over there? Didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit through it? I think it'll be fine, since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more, just in case. We can't reach that high. We need something to stand on. Yep. There it is. Moving ladder. Oh, I could probably use the ladder. I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. Whoa. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Uh, sorry. Sorry. Did see them. Well, whatever, you can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. It's a great cover in the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grate off? Uh, there we go. 
The grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. You can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, you'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom, so that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. With that, I began to rearrange the books around the vent. Okay. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Katie, what's wrong? This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan's perfectly composed, like Chopin's ballads. I actually really like complicated contraptions, like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff, you know, where a domino hits another domino, which hits a hammer, which hits a... whatever, and then it just keeps on going like that. So I'm positive this will work. The setup's perfect. Really think so? Of course, we'll definitely catch the mastermind, and then we'll all escape. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Yeah, so I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between books, so that... Oh, hold on. I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera at bay? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organise the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. That way, we won't waste any time, right? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, right then, let's do it. I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm, there are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered and to end with cluttered stacks of books. Oh, end to end. This is nothing. As I moved the ladder, I reorganised the books bit by bit. Jeez, there are too many books. It might be hard to set up a camera here. I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Katie, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganising the books. Jeez, these books are so heavy. What is this? An encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Ah, Katie, hey. is this really the time to be reading a book? Sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organising things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganise the heavy books, but... Looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? It'd be easier if I could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. Yeah, I have to minimise any risk of the mastermind notes in the cameras. Then I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books, like you suggested. Yeah. You look oddly happy. No, I don't. Ah, <laughs> uh, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. And here I thought it'd be a good idea. So about the places right? to put the cameras. Oh, okay. We decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase, over on the left. And the camera linked to it will be set up right here. That way, it'll capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase, so we'll be able to see. It'll be able to take the picture easy. We're going to place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I think right here in this bookcase is good. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they used. Sounds good. It does. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Oh, I almost forgot! I bought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Thanks. Yeah, keep them secure. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I've got to do it right. Alright, I should do it. I'm finished too. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that and signal this receiver. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical, critical picture. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. 
No, not just probably, it'll definitely work. Alright then, the final step, turn the sensors on. Alright, we should turn them on before we leave. It's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Got it, be a waste of film if it took our pictures. Yeah. Run! After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. Job done. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. That's true. Let's go to the classroom. Yeah, let's head on back upstairs. And in my app. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Let's keep the door open a little, so we can see any anyone going to the basement. Yep. Arcade, about the security sensor receiver. Could you hold on to it please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Ah, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No, you hold on to it, Shuichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Also, Shuichi. You just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Well, I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Lack of confidence, that's all. Talk to me. It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Especially since the Ultimate Initiative selected you as the Ultimate Detective. No, really, I shouldn't be the Ultimate Detective. I'm not even a real detective. What do you mean? I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But one day, I came across a murder case, completely by chance. I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the Ultimate Initiative, though I only solved one case. Even so, it's still amazing that you could solve a murder case. Most people can't do that. I wonder. No. I wonder if... Uh, it was really a good thing I solved that case. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later I heard that. He murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. Oh. Could be a deserved murder. A deserved not murder. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? Yeah, right. I uncovered the truth. Which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. Ever oh. since that one. Stupid case. I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes. The hatred. The way they stared into me. Uh. Anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then. I noticed Shuichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Kaede? I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. You noticed, huh? Yeah. I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you. So you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay. Try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. What are you talking about? What? Well, I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Hmm. 
geez, I just want to see everyone smile. I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles on everyone's faces. And that's why we need to expose the, the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. So we can smile with everyone else. Yeah. After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could, prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive, as the time limit drew closer and closer. And then suddenly, the moment arrived. Oh. What's the weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit's almost up. They need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Wait, Cody. I hear people talking in the hallway. People talking? I focused my attention on the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. I tried my best to listen while I peered through the gap of the classroom door. I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Kanto, Gonta, Maki, Tanaku, Angie, Himiko, and Mantaro too? The seven continued to walk down the stairs. Uh oh. Suspicious. What's a big group like that planning to do? Mantaro was with them too. Didn't he say he would end this game? It's almost night time, right? If they're all heading to the basement right now. Uh huh. No. It's unusual for such a big group to go all the way to the basement. No. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. It'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? <gasps> I'm gonna check out the basement. I'll come with you. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. With that, Shuichi dashed out of the classroom. Huh? Why am I all alone now? He lays and I was alone. All the fear and anxiety was trying to hide, rushing back, rushed back into me. I got it. <laughs> I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. I started cleaning for no reason at all. I had to move my body. The anxiety was getting to me. Shuichi, please come back already. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Kaede, why are you sweeping? Huh? Oh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Everything's okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why are they? <laughs> One hour. It's only one hour until until the time limit. Yeah, it's almost time. I'm sure that the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then it happened so suddenly. Oh, sensor. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver in Shuichi's hand suddenly went off. Shuichi, the receiver. Someone moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede. Oh, something's going on. Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. Oh, outside the library. Okay, dear, let's go inside. Yeah. Okay. But we're going to leave that for next time. <laughs> That's the perfect point. <laughs> okay, so this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. Things are about to pick up so much and things are about to change. <laughs> so, again, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head into the library and see what the hell is going on. See you in a bit, folks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.